Hey everyone, how you doing? I just want to explain the red dot drill that I use in my classes and for myself. Uh, I like this one because I do it with every gun I have because it allows me to see how the red dot is. The one thing I have found out is if I do this drill, once we get the rifle zeroed, this is for a nine millimeter on this one. It was the FTC and the response. They printed almost identical. But I do this drill after we get the rifle zeroed at whatever distance they want to show them how to use a red dot effectively. So we'll start off with the, for this one, I zero my stuff, the nine millimeter carbines at 10 yards because I don't really go past 50 and I'm more than good with that. So we'll pick right here. This pink dot is my point of impact. That's where I lay my dot. Through, when I'm looking through the red dot, I put it right here. And that's how it will be done for this entire drill on this first part. Your dot will stay here for all different stages. So I did three rounds. I stayed at three just to make it easy. It's 15 rounds to do this. So it's not overly bearing. There's three rounds right here. My zero. I'm good with that. And then I go to 15, leaving the dot here, but we move to the 15 yard line, put three rounds. We'll go to the 25 yard line. Again, the dot's gonna stay here and I'll do three rounds. Then I'll go to seven and I'll go to three. Once we're done with these 15 rounds, I'll look at this and I'll go from here to here, and about three and a half inches, here to here, probably about three inches. So I know when I go shoot the actual drill, the second part of the drill, I'll know where to put the dot to make everything go. So what I did is right here is where I was going for, between the eyes, the nose area, is what I wanted. So I just took this information, transferred it up here, and that's what I was able to do with all 15 rounds. These are my 25 yard shots, I'll tell you that right here. I felt that and I kind of expected that at 25 yards. But that's where they went. I'm happy with it because I can cover it with my fist or a three by five card. I'm good with it. When I did the 25 yards, I actually put my dot up here and that's where they landed. Kind of in the, the, the vertical area that I wanted. And then I went to 15, went about an inch above here. Look where they're at. I did my tens. Of course they stayed here. And then when I went to seven yards, I would actually aim just under, there they went. And when I was at three yards, I was aiming down here, there's where they went. That's how I use this drill. I take the spreads here, and this is where I would put my, to make this easy. This point, this point, this, and this. This is where I put the dot up here to put all the rounds right there. So my dot stayed on the dot here for all this. And then I can see where it was printing. So I put my dot in these four or five spots right here and look where they all went. That's how simple it is and it gives you a clear understanding of how to use your red dot effectively. Some people learn by listening, some people learn by doing, some people learn by all of it. So you have the actual see it, the visual, you have the manipulation of doing it and you have the auditory of learning it. So you can do that very effectively and have a good time with your red dot and you're not chasing that zero like a lot of people do. So you could do this, not counting your zeroing, but 30 rounds you can do this really easy and have a good time with it. This is the first one I did with the uh, response on this one. My FPC was identical to this. And that's what you'll be able to do. So you just learn how to use it. It's kind of like a scope. They know the adjustments on it. That's all I'm doing on this, making adjustments. So if you have any questions on it, let me know. Uh, if you go out and try it, you'll understand your red dot and I hope it works for you. I do it in every class I've had and I've had a lot of good success with this because people get to see it. We'll actually take this target down and put it to the side so they always have that reference. So. Like I said, this is going from three to 25 yards and I did have somebody comment and I understand it, 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 that's a valid comment. Why don't I just start at 25, 15, 10, seven, three? I personally have them start wherever they zero it. If they pick 15, that's where they're gonna start. I like the zeroing to start it because then they can see and then they 
leave it there and go to these other distance. You can do it in any order you want, but I prefer to start with the zero point and then just work from there. When I did this, I went actually 15, 25, 7, 3, but you can go any direction you want. Some people want to start at 25 and work down. I just prefer, again, to start from my zero point. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I, at the end of this video, like right now, I will attach the video that I actually shot this on. I have one similar to it, but I did it yesterday and uh, I will post it for you guys. That way you see this one for like a, the learning and then the practicality in a separate video. You guys have a good day. Bye.